What is up guys, Jimmy here with another video and today I wanted to go over all of my PlayStation 4 collection, not individually, I do have my PlayStation 4 collection that I went over that you can check out and also I'll include a link in the video description below, but I mainly want to talk about how I have here on this table right now 58 games, uh, PS4 games, and all of them are installed on my 4 terabyte hard drive. Now. The PS4 you can get in a 500 gigabyte and a one terabyte. You can also upgrade uh, your PS4 up to two terabytes with a 2.5 inch hard drive. Uh, but using the Nyko data bank, I was able to use um, a desktop hard drive or a 3.5 inch hard drive. So one of the most common questions I get, so let me just clarify, all of my games in my collection, all of the updates, you know, a lot of these updates some of these updates are huge and they're, these games are constantly being updated and if you have a big collection, that alone can take a huge chunk of your hard drive space. But I have all the games, all 58 games that you see here on the hard drive and I have about half of my hard drive left. So there's around two terabytes left. Uh, but one of the most common questions that I get is how many games I can put on this hard drive and that that's a question that I really can't answer because you know someone who's interested in getting this whether they're going to get you know like a two terabyte hard drive or a three terabyte hard drive uh, it varies it's like asking someone how many pieces of fruit can you get in a grocery bag I mean well are we talking about cantaloupes are we talking about nectarines are we talking about bananas are we talking about grapes I mean what what exactly are we talking about here it's going to vary for everyone and what I mean by that and say for instance a game like uh, Shadow of Mordor, that's a game that has around, it says on the back, it might be less or more, but 30 gigabytes. Uh, Bloodborne right here says uh, you need a minimum of around 41 gigabytes. Again, that might be less or more, but on the back that's what it says. Assassin's Creed Unity, I know on my hard drive, I'm pretty sure it takes more than 50 gigabytes because of all the updates. So over 50 gigabytes for a single game. But then you've got a game like Rayman Legends, and this one is, is I mean, very small. I think it's less than 10 gigabytes. It's, it's a lot less than 10 gigabytes. So it varies greatly and depend, depending on what you want. Some of the larger AAA games take around 40, 50 gigabytes, but it varies. But needless to say, uh, with all these games, so I'm guessing I'll be able to get well over 100 games on my 4 terabyte system. When I first got the Nyko Data Bank with my 4 terabyte hard drive, you know, I talked about in my unboxing video and review for the Nyko Data Bank and the 4 terabyte hard drive that there were issues that I encountered and I was I didn't give my full stamp of approval. I said because since there are errors and other issues, but not too long ago, Sony did an update where they made it possible with the system update they made it so the issues that people were having with like rest mode and also errors with reading discs that's a common one that people had now you know people are, are now upgrading their system up to four terabytes without any issues which is awesome it makes a big difference you know especially if you have internet that isn't that fast and you know you don't have to like download a game uh and erase it, download it, worry about space on your hard drive, it makes a huge world of difference. So again, I've got my entire PS4 game collection. Also, there's a lot of games I have that aren't here, digital games on my PS4 hard drive, but still, I still have over or around two terabytes of hard drive space left, and it makes a huge difference. But any, anyway, guys, if you have any questions about uh, upgrading a hard drive um, or any details about that, leave a comment in the section below. As always, guys, I'll talk to you later.